The data and knowledge products generated by Africa Rice are valuable assets, especially for our member states and other African countries. We believe that efficient collection and management of data from our RISE research programs and rapid open access to this information are vital for us to draw conclusions which will contribute to creating development impact in Africa. Our scientists have used big data from research to develop decision support digital tools such as RISE Advice, which provides farmers with specific field management guidelines for rice production systems in Africa. Farmers using rice advice are reported significant yield and income gains. We are happy that with the support of the CGIR Big Data Platform, we are setting up mechanisms to ensure easy access to our research data for the benefit of scientists and ultimately farmers and other rice value chain stakeholders in Africa. Rice is fast becoming a preferred crop in Africa because it's easy to cook and also it's easy to store. And to fulfill the demand, Africa is importing rice worth 6 billion annually. However, Africa has the potential to produce locally rice to fulfill its demand. And Africa Rice Center, a CGIA center, has the mandate to work with the country in order to develop the rice sector in Africa. And with the partners, Africa Rice has developed a number of innovations, including improved uh, rice varieties, agronomic practices, and post-harvest innovation to improve the livelihood of rice value chain actors. For instance, the Nerika variety developed by Africa Rice has helped to leave about 8 million people out of poverty. And in addition to that, Africa Rice has also developed the new generation of variety known as Advanced Rice for Africa, which are called Arika. And this variety, not only they are a uh, high yielding variety, but they are also adapted to the climate change. And data management is very important at Africa Rice because it helps to have information on the gem plus, but also to have information on the performance of elite breeding lines in order to develop better variety. And Africa Rice has today a gene bank which has about 90,000 accessions in its gene bank located in Boaké in Cote d'Ivoire. And Africa Rice is also using big data and ICT tools to provide specific recommendation to farmer and the application developed known as rice advice help to increase the yield from 0.5 to 1 ton per hectare and increase the profit of farmer from uh, $100 to $200 per hectare and rice advice is also appropriate in this situation of the pandemic because it helped to provide remote recommendation to farmers without any uh, you know, physical contact. And Africa Rice is also leading the continental investment plan for accelerating rice self-sufficiency in Africa, known as CIPRISA. And what is CIPRISA? CIPRISA is a policy and evidence-based tool which help to make proper decision for investment in rice in order to develop the rice sector in Africa. And this, as you see, are key as some example of how the data are at the heart of the research at Africa Rice and how innovation are helping to improve the life of rice value chain actors in Africa. And that is the reason why Africa Rice is working with the CGR a big data platform in order to solve the agricultural problem faster, better, and at big scale. When the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted our operations, Africa Rice decided to set up the COVID-19 working group and I was appointed to lead that group. And as part of my work, I meet regularly but virtually with the other members of the group in the other outstations, 
but also with my CGR counterparts. And during these meetings, we discuss the best practices in terms of a safe work environment and business continuity. And after that, I come back to Africa Rights Management with recommendations that will be also based on the context here at headquarters, but also in the outstations. At Africa Rights, preventive measures include providing regular information to staff, the implementation of a home office policy that was temporary, and the use of digital tools such as Microsoft Teams and then the interpreting features of Zoom. Africa Rice is a, uh, an organization that has two official languages that are English and French. We will keep protecting our staff and partner safety while we carry out our mission. And we believe that digital tools will help us improve our efficiency. Thank you for your attention.